Nation. Yo, Wagwan. Hitting up the Not Nation subreddit, r slash Not Nation. I almost have 4K, 4K members. Definitely head on over here for some positivity and some acceptance within your lock journey. Unlike our dreadlocks, where there's a lot of toxicity going on over there. I know this these days. Starting off, three and a half years. These locks looking mighty fine for three and a half years. I think he's got like a bit of an updo going on here to get that perkiness in the back and we can see lots of congos here as well embracing the nattiness and the natural roots that are to form when we are freely growing our hair to mat up definitely a good look keep it up freshly washed and hanging out of course free form locks must be kept clean especially in the beginning stages if you want them to mat up naturally the cold water the residue free shampoo actually helps to shrink the hair back towards the scalp which is actually enhancing the locking process so we can see here how that kind of looks once the hair is washed it shrinks and then it air dries into position of course, if you are drying it with a towel or any other force, it will detangle in a sense what you've just done with the wash. So definitely remember to use a cold water rinse and air dry as much as possible when washing your locks in the beginning stages and it will definitely help gnat up those roots and free those roots. You hear me? Another free form locks art. Follow Ra Nua Noon. The Rasta man is just a man living the life of Christ. Big Natty Congos loving the artwork. The Dreaded Turban. This is a anonymous, an anonymous Dreaded Turban submission. Very cool. Loving the way that these locks have formed being very thick and super, I want to say flat, but they're very wide such a big difference in the formation and the texture patterns of free locks versus twisted locks or any other sort this looks totally different and it's really cool to see this man's hair type as well looks like it's a bit straighter and he's able to form locks such as this a magnificent dread turban dread bin dread turban Dread Hive. I don't know what to really call this. Dread Lock Turban actually is probably the best. Looking sick. Very blunted tips as well. I would say to accomplish this, you got to be at least 10 years in the game. Approaching four years. Yo. Crazy dreadication going on here. A big plica forming on the back where we can see the color differentiation from the brown going to the new growth which is more so peppered turning a little gray elder locks forming in loving it it's a great look and he's got some little baby locks coming through at the back a lot of frizz around the crown and how even some of that frizz turns into newer locks like this one at the front a very interesting set of locks. I definitely salute the commitment going on here because freeform locks are not for everybody. They're only for those with the strong willpower to do it. This is what sets us apart from other lock heads. Very cool. Reminds me of what Gunplay had going on and could be the beginning stages of some very legendary Gunplay locks, but these are not his these are not Gunplay's locks. These are Embarrassed Garage 267 locks and they're unique to himself. So keep on going. Three years. Three years in. Freeform locks. Three years as well. Very cool to see the difference. Even though the last dude and this dude have the same length of a journey. These are what happen when you separate your locks versus the unseparation in the latter. Now he's got a lighter hair type uh, and hair color. 
So his locks have formed a bit thinner, but you can see the textures going on with his locks and how they're kind of loopy and kinky, bubbly and bumpy. Very cool. The tips are still pretty wispy, yet you can see some small Congos that have formed. Very interesting. Loving the way that there's still a lot of frizzy hair going on. And the man can still hold down the hoodie. Because once your locks get to a certain length, the hoodies don't fit as much anymore. So definitely embrace that while you still can. Ashira with the dread sleeve on her head makes it look quite elegant. The way you can put your locks up like this. But we know that her freeform locks are definitely mighty Congoed as well. Crazy to see how they've been forming. I think they're in pigtails on the side right now. And we can see a big flat Congo going on at the back. Really cool to see. Now I hope that these are actually being pushed into Congos on the sides as well. So she's going to have essentially just three big locks growing. Very rare to see this on females and I would love to see the progression of this over the years. And it's great to know the updo still looks very presentable to the people that may be naysayers. Even though I love the way that these locks look just as is as well. And this guy posts, tell me these don't go crazy. They do go crazy. These look amazing. And he's an attorney of some sort in the courthouse. And he's rocking a business suit with the freeform locks in an updo that's kind of like a crazy updo as well. Cool to see him holding down his crown. More hair picks. These freeform locks are going insane. Some of the best we've seen on here in a while. The updo looking crazy as well. Doggo looking blessed to be with his master. A lot of frizz, a lot of embracing going on here. Some true law inspiration for the community to help us all to keep on staying motivated with our dreadlock journeys. 25 months locked, staying strong and trusting the process. For 25 months, these are looking crazy. This is almost, this is just past two years. We can see they've been thickening up quite a bit and starting to drop real heavy as well. Yes, sir. These are definitely forming in a great fashion. Two years in the making, starting from the afro, looking like they've tightened up those curls quite a bit as the fro starts to expand with the tightened curls. And then they start to separate themselves a little bit until the locks start to really take place. Damn, this is crazy right here. That's insane how they've come together. I love how like the roots have really formed, but the ends have like bursted a little bit. And then they've really started to drop down. This is a fantastic dreadlock journey. I appreciate you sharing this. Two years in. Second time around and I'm in love. Loving the salt and pepper look. Embrace those gray roots. Epic female free forms. Definitely inspiring all females out there to embrace their nattiness. Good day. The same guy from before that had the wash day. Now these are, these are his locks dried. And these locks have great potential because they will be able to Congo up, marry one another quite easily. Especially from this point forward. It looks like they're already starting to do that at the roots on some of these. So they will fatten up quite a bit. Freeform Congos, crazy Congo. These are super thick, coming right from the root. A lot of expansion. Frizzy hairs looking a lot different on this type four. Frizzy hairs on these locks aren't so noticeable, but they, you do, you will notice like little dreadlock frizz, frizz balls forming, you know, which are really unique on their own. You can really see the fingers that were once that once were on the tips of these locks and also notice the change in color over the years. Very exciting. Thugger Radio. Wagwan. Tarantula legs. Yes, these do look like tarantula legs. 
Very neat. So these are going to be really fat eventually. If left unseparated, these are definitely going to thicken up. Now, he could separate them now to keep them thinner or separate them later if he doesn't like how fat that they get, but definitely embracing these roots as best as possible. It's cool to see how our locks will form into things very similar that nature provides, like tree branches, tree roots, specific animals like tarantula legs. The imagination can get pretty creative when comparing how our freeform locks look. Second time around, going on six years. Cool, lots of accessories going on here. Some wooden beads, some metal beads, some feathers, a little bit of dye on the sides, a bandana. The roots looking really free. These roots are free. Beautiful locks, lady. Semi-free form, eight months. Looking dope. Good progression going on here. A little bit of frizz happening as well. Big ups. Three months formed freely, free feeling. This guy's beard goes crazy. And the locks looking dope as well. Bumpy and bubbly locks. Wispy tips and loopy loops. A matted mess. A beautiful mess. Definitely grow those mats, matty natties as out, out as much as possible. Big ups. Two months free form. It's a beautiful start to your lock journey. Perfect, perfect start to your lock journey. And you will find that your hair texture will lock up rather easily. And without separation, they are definitely gonna thicken up a lot as well. So separate as needed. Definitely do it later than sooner, but we would, we would love to see your progress over the years. Check back in. Big ups to you as well. Almost four years on the free forms. Stay happy and natty as always. A lot of length going on here for four years. Your hair is growing mighty quick. Loving the wispy tips. Yes, these locks are going crazy as well. A lot of frizz that's loose and long. And I would say his journey is pretty much going strong. Four years in, those are mighty fine locks, my friend. Yo, these are crazy. These are insane. Definitely loving the vibes here. Wild free forms. A lot of frizz as well. It looks like a type three hair. And these locks are definitely getting congoed and fattied. Definitely want to see more progression as well. Keep us informed. Very interesting. Free and formed. It looks like the top bit has been freely forming. But there's some retwist action going on here. Quite possibly getting a retwist on the free forms. Kind of looks cool having the twisted and the freed roots happening up here. I hope that that's all they got retwisted. Big ups for Bible study on 6 p.m. Tuesdays. Five years freely formed with the updo, the bandana. Looking dope. Five years in and they're very short still. Well, I wouldn't say they're short because his hair texture is a type four. So it does take a while to show the length but definitely loving the mass of locks he's got going on here. Really hard to tell where one begins and one ends. It looks like a lot of them are congled up towards the root at this point. Started this journey from bald. It's wild seeing what it's become. And that's the fun part about growing our locks out freely from the roots. It is a very fun journey. 19 months free formed. Yes, lady locks looking bad bad loving the way these are forming very clean precise and i love this one lock on top just being like a straight antennae congo's looking nice how many years in this is a year and a half just passed these are going to be epic 
these already are epic and just wait until the length kicks in beautiful locks today i hit seven months big ups on the journey he said he towel rubbed for the first three being free forming since the most part with his hair type probably towards a type 1c or a 2a we can see that it will take a lot longer for his locks to form but they will in fact form and you can already see the progression happening here how the hair is starting to section itself out into locks so really all that needs to be done here is continuously using the cold water rinsing keeping his hair clean with the residue free shampoos and letting it air dry as much as possible and these locks will form much love and big ups lastly half black half rainbow last color before the buzz cut crazy coloring job here the rainbow locks a lot of work to get this ombre effect going on here a lot of chemicals as well for entertainment purposes i love seeing this on people's locks submitted in these uh, subreddits and on these posts i can never condone using such bleach and chemicals on someone's hair though i think it's far too damaging for both the hair and the dermatitis but to each their own and you are able to do whatever you want with your free will i do think this looks amazing this is definitely a hard color to come across and to achieve but just be forewarned of the negative impacts of dyeing your hair Didn't you shine? Didn't like the rise.